Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your new Hero 9. I just got my Hero 9, and I'm going to show you how to connect it to the GoPro app. Now, I use a Samsung phone, but I'm going to show you how to connect this, how to set up the um, app, and how to use the app with your new Hero 9. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you've got enough charge that this is the first time you're connecting your app to your Hero 9, because it's going to want to do an update. And it will not let you do the update unless you've got enough charge on your Hero 9. But you're going to turn the Hero 9 on. You're going to swipe down. Then swipe right. Go to connections. Make sure your wireless connection is on. You're going to go. And then if you want to change the Wi-Fi band. I, it comes standard in 5 gigahertz. Make sure your phone can, can connect with 5 gigahertz. Then we're going to do connect device. So then we're going to select connect device. You want to do the GoPro app. This is where it says install the GoPro app, leave your camera on, and follow the instructions. Okay, so here's the GoPro app installed. You've got to make sure your Wi Fi is turned on. There we go, turn our Wi Fi on. Okay, so now we're going to add, we're going to click this little button up here. So it's searching for a camera. I've got my camera in uh, that first step where it said to install the GoPro app there it says GoPro Hero 9 we're gonna connect click OK the GoPro is now connected this is where you get to ch uh, change the name you can leave it as this really generic name, or I like to give it something better. Save the new name. You can put your own name on there, whatever you want. And of course, it's got to do an update. These things hardly ever ship with the correct software. So we're going to do the update. Update camera. And your GoPro is going to connect and disconnect a few times. Okay, so mine did not update. It said there was a problem, and I, I clicked update later. So now it's connected to my Hero 9. I can control my... This is nice because you can go in there to the settings. Oh, here it wants to update again. So let's try the update again. Okay, so if you're the battery, you got to charge the battery first. So the main thing you want to do is charge this. Um, I don't think it's going to do the update because the battery's low. So let's cancel out of this and I'll put one of the spare. Okay, so now the battery, I've got it hooked up to a charger. It's probably one of the first things you wanna do is make sure you charge the battery. Okay, so that took about four or five minutes. And then you're gonna put, got it, it's installing the update. We're gonna leave the GoPro alone and it's gonna turn on and off a few times. Okay, so now the update is done. I like to go to control your, your GoPro first because you can go to the settings and I want to set the time and date really quick. So when you first, it doesn't automatically show you what's on the screen. You have to click this enable preview button. I think that saves on bandwidth between the two. Maybe it connects with Bluetooth. And then if you want to see what's actually on the GoPro recording, it connects to the, to the Wi-Fi probably. Okay. So there's what my GoPro is, is seen. So I'm going to turn off the, the preview. 
I want to go to this little setting, this little uh, settings button, little wrench. Okay, so now I'm on the setup. This is this is a really nice um, menu. You you can pretty much set everything on the GoPro, and it's a little easier to do it than walking through on that little screen. You can set the beeps, if you want the LED to blink, the quick capture, the default preset, last used. Auto off, 15 minutes, screensaver rear, screensaver front. So these are really nice. You can turn the GPS on and off. Um, set the file. Here's where it says set time and date. So I like to do that right away just to make sure it's all ready to go. And there's the battery level. It's charging, SD capacity. So this is a really nice feature on this app. So this app has really come a long way. And like I said, you can switch between um, camera, video, time lapse. So I'm not going to go through all the all the features of this app, but this is a really good app. And it's a good way of downloading your files to your phone. But I've found the best way to download the files to your phone is with a take the SD card out and get an SD card reader. So again, everyone, this was just a dad. This was a video on how to connect your GoPro Hero 9 to your app and kind of how the app works. Thank you for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.